Welcome to this video on applying inflation to an estimate in Estimator Express. Of course it's always important to take inflation into account when estimating and quoting for building projects. However, it's particularly important to consider the impact of inflation at this current time. Construction cost inflation is at its highest for a generation due to many factors including material shortages, supply chain issues and labour shortages. Construction costs increased by a massive 20% year-on-year from July 2020 to July 2021 and high levels of inflation are set to continue throughout 2022. Due to the current level of demand, many builders are booking in jobs which will commence several months down the line, in perhaps 6, 9 or 12 months time. As the effect of inflation is greater the longer the period between estimating a job and job completion, it's especially important to factor inflation into longer projects and projects starting further into the future. In this video, I'll explain how the inflation calculations work in Estimator Express. I'll show you how you can set your inflation rates and how you can apply inflation to your customer quotation. Let's start in the Estimator Express library in the overhead, profit and inflation section. The inflation settings in the library are the default settings which are copied into any job when the job is created. The inflation rates here are annual rates. In other words, these figures represent how much the resource costs will increase by in 12 months. So if you're pricing a job today, which has a £10,000 material spend, and you're not starting work for a year, if you set your material inflation to 20%, the material costs will have increased to £12,000 after 12 months. If the project then takes, say, six months to build, a further six months inflation will be calculated on top. On the other hand, if a job is completed in less than 12 months, the full 20% will not be applied as inflation is added incrementally. Bear in mind that the inflation will only apply up to the point that the materials are ordered. For example, if all your concrete, cement and sand are required in the first couple of months of the project, inflation will only be applied up to the point that they are ordered. Resources like paint and finishes will likely see the full impact of the inflation as they will only be required on site right at the end of the project. You can set a different inflation rate for the different resource types. For example, in this example I've set the material inflation to 20% but labour and other resource types to 10%. Along with the inflation rates you need to consider the delay before inflating costs. It's set to 12 weeks by default. This means for the first 12 weeks no inflation will be applied to your costs. After 12 weeks, inflation will start to be applied to your estimate incrementally. In periods of high inflation, it may be prudent to reduce the delay to something like 4 weeks. Estimator Express applies inflation to each resource individually. It calculates the inflation period by working out the number of days between the date the resource was last updated, in other words the latest price, and the date that the resource needs ordering. It then deducts the delay you set before applying inflation. Let's talk through an example to make it more concrete. Firstly, I'll explain the inflation period. Say the concrete price was last updated on the 15th of November 2021. The concrete needs ordering on the 24th of January 2022. That means 10 weeks are elapsing between the latest price update and the order date of the concrete. Inflation isn't applied for the whole 10 weeks. If the delay is set to 4 weeks, the price will not change for the first 4 weeks. For the remaining 6 weeks before the concrete is ordered, inflation will be applied at the rate set in the job inflation settings. So that's the theory. Here's the maths. So if material inflation is set to 20% per annum and the inflation is applied for a period of 6 weeks, the software applies that rate for 6 weeks of the year. So that's the 6 over 52 part. This gives us an inflation rate of 2.3% for this six week period at this rate of 20%. So in our concrete example, say the concrete was costed at 1,000 pounds based on the latest price update. The software will then apply the inflation at a rate of 2.3%, which is 23 pounds on top of the original 1,000 pounds. So the total inflated cost of the concrete is 1,023 pounds. The maths can get a bit complicated, that's why you want Estimator Express doing it for you. 
Now let's look at setting the inflation rates for a particular job. If your software is set so the estimate detail screen appears as you create your job, you can set the inflation rates for your job here. In the estimate detail screen, click review inflation rates. You'll see the same inflation options as you saw in the library, only this time you're setting the inflation rates and delay for this particular job. To review the inflation rates from within a particular job, go to the job settings and select overhead, profit and inflation. Again, here you are changing the inflation rates and delay for this particular job. As the inflation calculations are based on the dates the resources were last updated, it's crucial to do a price download, plus a review of any resources you've added to the price book yourself before creating your quote. This ensures that the prices you're using for your estimate are today's prices. You can do a price download from within a job using the Synchronize Resources button in the Job Price Book. Take a look at the link in the description box below for advice on bringing today's prices into an estimate. It's important to understand that inflation does not appear in the costs you see in the job costs on the main quote template and main estimate screens. The costs you see here, construction costs and sale price, are calculated using today's prices. Inflated costs can be seen in the inflated costs and inflated cash flow reports and in the customer quotation if you switch on the inflation option. I'll come to those in a moment. To ensure your inflation rates are calculated accurately, you must set the job start date in the build program. All of the resource order dates are based on the job start date, so to ensure the inflation calculations are sensible, the job start date must be correct. You can change the job start date using the drop down box at the top of the build program. To review your costs including inflation, go to the data reports and open the inflated costs report. This report is useful for getting a handle on the impact of inflation on your costs. You might want to drop in some additional fields such as the item used for field to see a more detailed breakdown of your inflated costs. There's also an inflated cash flow report which you might also find useful. Now let's have a look at the customer quotation. To apply inflation to your customer quotation, you need to ensure that the inflation option in the quote for main estimate is ticked. After you've opened the quote for the main estimate, on the main settings tab on the right, check that the inflation box is ticked. Choosing to include inflation in your quote will of course increase your price to the customer, as it will reflect how resource prices increase over time. You can explain to your customer how inflation has been factored into the quote to demonstrate just how accurate your quotation is. You could mention that any competing quotes will probably not have taken this into account and are therefore likely to be costlier in the long run. So that's your overview of how inflation works in Estimator Express. If you have any further questions, please get in touch with the tech support team who will be happy to help you.